In the world of Forex trading, knowledge is power. The more you understand, the better your chances of success. One crucial concept to grasp is the smart money concept, or SMC. Think of it as a way to read the market like a pro. SMC helps you understand how the big players, the institutional traders, operate. These big players are like whales in an ocean. They have the power to move the market with their massive trades. By understanding their moves, we can ride their waves to potential profits. It's about identifying their footprints in the sand and anticipating their next move. But it's not about blindly following. It's about using their actions to make informed trading decisions. This means understanding market structures, supply and demand imbalances, and manipulation tactics. Mastering SMC takes time and dedication, but with practice and the right knowledge, you can gain a significant edge in the Forex market. Let's dive in and explore the world of smart money trading. Who is the smart money? This term often refers to the big players in the financial markets, particularly in Forex. They are the big players in the Forex market. These are the entities with the power to move markets. Think hedge funds, investment banks, and even central banks. These institutions have the capital and the influence to make significant impacts. These institutions have vast resources and influence. They employ teams of analysts, traders, and economists to stay ahead. They move huge sums of money and their trades can significantly impact currency prices. When they make a move, the market listens. Why are they important? Because they are the market movers. Their actions set the trends that the rest of the market follows. They set the trends, and we, as individual traders, can benefit by understanding their game plan. By analyzing their moves, we can make more informed decisions. Imagine trying to trade against a giant wave. You'd likely get crushed. The market is like the ocean, and these big players are the waves. But ride the wave, and you might just catch the perfect surf. By aligning our trades with the smart money, we can ride the trends they create. Institutional traders don't gamble, they strategize. They have access to information and tools that most individual traders don't. They use sophisticated algorithms, economic analysis, and insider knowledge to make informed trading decisions. Their approach is methodical and data-driven. They are not emotional, they are calculated. Emotions can cloud judgment, but these institutions rely on cold, hard data, and they are always looking for opportunities to maximize their profits. Every move is calculated to ensure the highest returns. By learning to identify their footprints in the market, we can gain valuable insights into potential price movements. Recognizing these patterns can give us an edge. It's like having a sneak peek at the game plan of the winning team. Understanding their strategy can help us make better trading decisions and improve our chances of success. To understand smart money, we need to understand the language of the market. Two key elements are market structure and supply and demand imbalances. Think of market structure as the map of the market. It shows us the highs and lows, the support and resistance levels. Smart Money uses these levels to their advantage. They know that many traders place orders at these key points. By pushing the price to these areas, they can trigger those orders and create liquidity for their trades. Supply and demand imbalances are the fuel that drives price movement. When demand is higher than supply, prices tend to go up. Conversely, when supply outweighs demand, prices tend to fall. Smart Money understands these imbalances. They often create them intentionally to manipulate the market in their favor. By recognizing these setups, we can anticipate potential price moves and position ourselves accordingly. Section 4. Footprints in the sand, identifying smart money moves. Smart money leaves footprints. These are patterns and signals that indicate their presence and intentions. By learning to recognize these footprints, we can gain an edge in the market. One such footprint is order flow. This refers to the buying and selling pressure at different price levels. By analyzing order flow, we can see where smart money is placing their orders and get a sense of their directional bias. Another footprint is volume. Smart money trades in large quantities. When we see unusually high volume accompanying a price move, it could indicate institutional activity. Candlestick patterns can also provide clues. Certain patterns like bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing can suggest a shift in momentum driven by smart money. By carefully observing these and other footprints, we can start to anticipate smart money's next move and trade accordingly. Remember, the key is to look for consistent patterns and confirmations, not just isolated signals. 
Section 5. Manipulation Tactics. Stop hunts and price spikes. Smart money doesn't play fair. They use various tactics to manipulate the market in their favor. Two common tactics are stop hunts and price spikes. Stop hunts are designed to trigger stop loss orders placed by retail traders. Smart money knows that many traders place their stops just below support or above resistance levels. By driving the price to these levels, they can activate these stops, creating a cascade of selling or buying pressure that benefits their position. Price spikes are sudden, sharp movements in price that are often short-lived. Smart money uses these spikes to shake out weak hands and create liquidity for their trades. They might drive the price up sharply to entice buyers, then quickly reverse direction, trapping those who bought at the peak. Recognizing these manipulation tactics is crucial for avoiding costly mistakes. Don't get fooled by sudden price movements or blindly place your stops at obvious levels. Section 6. Riding the Wave. Entering and Exiting with Smart Money. Trading with smart money is about timing. It's about knowing when to make your move and when to hold back. It's about entering trades when they enter and exiting when they exit. This synchronization with the market movers can make a significant difference in your trading success. This requires patience, discipline, and a keen eye for market signals. You need to be able to wait for the right moment and not jump in too early or too late. One way to identify potential entry points is to look for breakouts from key levels. These levels can act as barriers that, once broken, can lead to significant price movements. When smart money wants to move the market, they often need to break through these levels. Observing these breakouts can give us clues about the market's next direction. If we see a strong breakout with high volume, it could be a sign to enter a trade in the direction of the breakout. High volume indicates strong interest and can confirm the breakout's validity. Exits are just as important as entries. Knowing when to get out of a trade can protect your profits and minimize losses. One strategy is to trail our stop loss orders as the trade moves in our favor. This means adjusting the stop loss to lock in profits as the price moves in the desired direction. This allows us to lock in profits and protect ourselves from sudden reversals. By trailing the stop loss, we can ensure that we capture gains while still giving the trade room to grow. Another approach is to look for signs of weakness or strength in the market. These signs can help us decide whether to stay in a trade or exit. If we see volume drying up or momentum waning, it could be a sign that smart money is starting to exit their positions, and we should consider doing the same. Recognizing these signals can help us avoid staying in a trade too long. Remember, trading is not about being right or wrong all the time. It's about making informed decisions and managing your risk effectively. It's about managing risk and maximizing profits over the long run. By following smart money and using strategies like trailing stop losses and recognizing market signals, we can improve our chances of success in the Forex market. Consistently reviewing and refining your trading strategies is crucial. Learn from your trades, both successful and unsuccessful, to continuously improve your approach. Staying updated with market news and trends can also provide valuable insights. The Forex market is influenced by a variety of factors, and being aware of these can help you make better trading decisions. Networking with other traders and sharing insights can also be beneficial. Learning from others' experiences and strategies can provide new perspectives and ideas for your own trading. Finally, maintaining a balanced lifestyle is important. Trading can be stressful, and taking care of your mental and physical health can help you stay focused and make better decisions. Celebrate your successes no matter how small. Recognizing your achievements can keep you motivated and committed to your trading journey. Section 7. Spotting the Traps. Avoiding Common Trading Pitfalls. In this section, we will delve into the various traps that traders often fall into and how to avoid them. The Forex market is full of traps, especially for those who are new to the game. These traps can be subtle and deceptive, making it easy for inexperienced traders to fall prey to them. Smart Money knows these traps well and often uses them to their advantage. They have the experience and resources to navigate these pitfalls, leaving less experienced traders at a disadvantage. One common trap is chasing price. This occurs when traders see a sharp move in price and jump in without analyzing the situation. This is when traders see a sharp move in price and jump in without analyzing the situation. They get caught up in the excitement and make impulsive decisions. Smart money often creates these fake outs to trap emotional traders. They know that emotional traders are likely to react without thinking 
making them easy targets. Another trap is overtrading. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of the market and take too many trades. This can lead to significant losses if not managed properly. But quality over quantity is key. Instead of taking numerous trades, focus on making a few high quality trades that have a higher probability of success. Focus on identifying high probability setups that align with Smart Money's footprints. This means looking for trades that have a strong likelihood of success based on thorough analysis. Ignoring risk management is a recipe for disaster. Without proper risk management, even a few bad trades can wipe out your account. Always use stop loss orders to limit potential losses and never risk more than you can afford to lose. This is a fundamental rule that every trader should follow. Trading based on emotions is another surefire way to lose money. Emotions like fear and greed can cloud your judgment and lead to poor decision making. Fear and greed can cloud judgment and lead to impulsive decisions. It's important to stay calm and stick to your trading plan, even when the market is volatile. Develop a trading plan and stick to it, even when things get tough. A well thought out plan can help you stay focused and disciplined, reducing the likelihood of falling into common trading traps.